show you guys how to drift up some blues on the Ohio River. Hey everybody, I'm Steve Douglas with Monster Rod Holders. Uh, we're out here on the Ohio River today to do a little free drifting for some blue cats. Uh, I want to share with you the uh, setup we're using. I've got a seven and a half foot medium action rod spooled up with some 65 pound braided line. Uh, we're using a basic Carolina rig. Uh, six ounce weight tied to a swivel, tied to a 50 pound monofilament leader with an 8 dot Gamagatsu hook. <laughs> be pretty good size. Oh yeah. skipjack for bait today and I'm going to show you how I like to cut it. I'm going to cut that gut pocket out first. And then I chunk it up. And I like the chunks better when I'm drifting because when you hook it in the top it doesn't tend to spin it just kind of floats through the water. I'm going to show you how we put the on the hook right through the top just barely make sure you knock all any scales off so it doesn't get on that tip and lose a fish and what you want to do just drop it straight down keep dropping it Till that sinker hits all the way on the bottom. See how the we've hit bottom there, right there. So now I reel it up till my tip touches the pole. Reel it a couple more times. Stick it in the rod holder and just kind of free drift down till you run into some blues. Right, guys, when you're drifting, I like to kind of, if I can, we got a little current here. I like to drift sideways, that way I can give a, a larger path of baits offering to the, uh, the catfish down there. If you notice, I've got my rods staggered. This one's pointing straight out towards the boat. If you come over to this one, I've pulled it in probably four foot less than the first one. This third one here, we jump across. I'm going to put it about four foot away from this one. And we jump back across. This line's a little farther down, four foot again. That's what I like about these drifters bases on the monster rod holders. You can quickly adjust them any which way you want so that you can do some staggering with your rods. But what we've got here, we've got about a 24 foot swath, I want to say, going down the river with baits every four foot apart to hopefully catch a fish coming into it. I'm just going to touch on the basics today to get you started, but if you like this kind of information and want to read more about it, you can visit my blog, which is discovercatfishing.com. There's a lot of information on that about free drifting and much more. Discovercatfishing.com. Look at that depth on there. Look at the load of fish on that depth on there. We're running right through them. Well, we're on a good spot here. Holder, I got another one going on here. Look at here. Oh, I'm telling you guys, now this one's a little bit better. <laughs> Look at them fish on that depth finder. We just run over top of it. Cool 
Kissing these fish deep like this, you kind of need to bring them up slow so they can decompress. You see some baby coming up right now. If they don't do that, they'll die when we put them back in. It is some mean little fish. I thought he was bigger than this. Come here, big boy. Ready to eat. That never clean little fish. I've right, got another one. Look at here. Number four, right here in the same spot. You gotta love this. If you don't, it's un American. Again, it ain't a big one, but loads of fun. Bait on them now. Bubbles blowing. He ain't done either. His belly's popped. I'm afraid if I bring him up now without blowing, he there's some there's the bubbles. Now we can bring him on up. Now we bring him on up. Four poles all at once. <laughs> oh, you gotta love this. We're probably gonna turn around and go back up another couple hundred yards and come back and do it again. Pulling these free drifts, you really don't know what you're going to catch. You know, you're going to catch some catfish, but unless you're targeting big fish, these 8, 10, 12 pounders, and even bigger, are just fun to catch. How much fun is this, guys? How much fun is this? He's a good 10 pounder. Don't let him do the death roll with you got that hook in his mouth. You gotta love it. Oh, he broke my line or something. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. That's about number 22, 23. We've caught here just a little while. Well, I guess we're gonna call it a day. I lost one big one back there a while ago. He didn't get hooked up. I don't know what the deal was, but we're gonna come back tomorrow night and try him out some more.